so what's going on guys it's jm it's sweet boxing make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on any of the videos also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what i'm saying in any of my videos like always it is appreciated i'm sorry if my voice is a little bit hoarse i've been away with some friends for a few days and we got on a bit of a barry big one so you know you know how it is <laughs> but anyway paul smith loses a wide unanimous decision to WBA regular super middleweight champion Taiwan Zoyga out in Germany and in my opinion this fight was very subpar like both guys weren't fantastic Taiwan Zoyga as a world champion is a bit of a stretch in my opinion because we all know that George Groves is the real WBA world champion at 168 pounds and Taiwan Zoyga don't get me wrong, he's a young fighter and he probably hasn't developed his game all round yet but so far he looks like a very average fighter but he managed to defeat Paul Smith very convincingly all three judges scored to fight 119-108 in favour of Zoyga and that was fair scoring because Paul Smith in my opinion didn't really do anything the whole fight, didn't do nothing uh, he hurt Tyron Zoyga in the third round with a shot Paul Smith but instead of trying to step on the gas throughout the rounds Paul Smith and put it on the guy and leave it all in the ring he just stayed at distance throwing a meat looking jab at Tywin Zoyga and he was eating shots all night long he was at the end of Tywin Zoyga's jab hitting him with lead left hands that's what Zoyga was doing to Paul Smith and Paul Smith just wasn't throwing anything back and he wasn't as quick as Zoyga either Paul Smith at 34 years old he just looked like he didn't have the desire to be in there anymore. It's like he didn't get up for the fight. And to be honest, the guy was gifted a world title shot. So you'd think that he would have tried to go out there and put it on Tywin Zoyga to try and pick up a world title. Because that was his best opportunity in my opinion. Because Zoyga was a very substandard world champion. And I think the Paul Smith who fought off at Abraham in the first fight a few years back would have beaten Tyron Zoyga but the Paul Smith tonight just didn't look very good at all. Paul Smith in my opinion has always been a very limited fighter but tonight he just looked like he just didn't want to be there and the game plan him and um, Joe Gallagher came up with like what was it because it, I didn't see a game plan all he did was come forward high guard eat shots that's all Joe Gallagher's fighter seemed to be doing at the minute like we saw it with Liam Smith and Liam Williams he was being soundly outboxed by Liam Williams he managed to get into the fight later on until Liam Williams picked up the cut on his eye and the fight had to be stopped so Liam Smith got lucky there and then you had Anthony Carlo getting soundly beaten by Jorge Linares in the rematch because all he was doing was coming forward with the high guard eating shots hoping that Jorge Linares would tie down the stretch or he could land something but it just don't happen if you don't go out there and put it on the guy it's like I don't know what Paul Smith was waiting for like I was just thinking oh he must be waiting to get into the later rounds to execute something no it was it was pretty bad game plan from Joe Gallagher I'm telling you now like even his prospects Marcus Morrison not long ago getting beaten by Jason Wellborn over 10 or 12 rounds or whatever it was but he would be up in that fight and I just don't know what to say about Joe Gallagher right now as a trainer because whatever he's saying to his fighters is just not working like he said to Paul Smith in the 12th round with Paul Smith way down on the scorecards and needing a knockout to get the victory he said to him oh don't get reckless be calm like what? This guy needed to go out there and knock him out. He had three minutes left to ever fight for a world title. To ever win a world title, I mean. And you're saying to him, I'll oh, be calm and don't get reckless. Thinking he was like 10 rounds up when he was 10 rounds down. <laughs> like Joe Gallagher, man. Some of the instructions are just awful. But yeah, Paul Smith was pretty abysmal himself tonight. And I don't know why he got a third shot at a world title. Because since he was battered by Andre Ward... He's fought three Latvian cab drivers and six rounders. And <clears throat> Tyron Zoyga, though, he's a young guy. He can improve, but at the minute, I don't see him beating any of the top boys. 
Our super middleweight, George Groves, James DeGale, Callum Smith, Gilberto Ramirez, Andre Durrell. I don't see him beating any of them fighters. He looks like the kind of fighter to me who's just going to stay in German air and defend his title against lower level contenders, fringe contenders, like we saw tonight with Paul Smith. And the atmosphere, like, I know German air is not the greatest atmosphere, but fucking hell. It was like these guys were at the opera the way they were watching this fight. They were just sat there, just quiet, observing the fight. Like, say what you want about British fans, but at least we get it rocking. Jesus Christ, it was like watching a fucking episode of Antiques Roadshow. Oh, terrible fight. Paul Smith couldn't do it on his third attempt. He won't get a world title shot again, and it more than likely he'll call it a day on his career. So, yeah, it is what it is. Paul Smith lost a wide unanimous decision to Tyrone Zoyga. Comment below in the comment section. It's Jeremy Speedboxing.